again to Adulting with a Disability. Today I have a special friend, Greta, who I can't wait for you all to meet. If you haven't subscribed yet, go press that subscribe button and also the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. A special shout out goes to Sharon, who shares all of my blogs. And she's a fan of both Greta and I. We have known Sharon for quite a few years now. And she's such a great support. So, hey Sharon, love your work. I would like to introduce my friend Greta. I met Greta at the shops. One week we smiled at each other. And the next I went and chatted to Greta memorized her name, went home, looked her up on Facebook and we've been friends ever since. What draws me to Greta is her strength and determination and her kind heart. Greta has just graduated with a Bachelor of Art. Greta is my adventure buddy. We have done I Fly together. And we've also spent four amazing days in the snow together. It's been amazing. Greta has also encouraged me to try surfing. For all of you who don't know Greta yet, I'm about to introduce her and ask her some questions. Say hi everyone, this is my friend Greta who I love so much and I'm really inspired by because she has so much to offer the world and she's just a great inspiration. Oh. Hey, great. Peter, when did you decide that you could get on with life just like everyone else? Hey everyone, well honestly, I have always been pretty out there, but it was really after coming out of a very emotional period of my life that I definitely decided to get out there without going into too much detail. This was purely because I came to the realization that life was too short not to do as much as you can and have as much fun while doing it. Mm. Greta, as a person with a disability, I just want to ask you, how do you see yourself? Now this is a hard question to answer, as some of you may relate to. I admit I do find myself questioning this over and mm. over. I guess I can say is how I currently want the world to see me as a strong woman who is a little bit hippie and out there. I just always wanted to get out there and do what everyone mm. else does. We might need to be creative in the way that we do it. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, definitely want to give life a go. I actually find my disability makes me more creative. <laughs> yeah, because you have to find different mm -hmm. ways to do it. Yeah. So, Greta, what drives you to live life? My support system. I am so lucky to have the most amazing people around mm -hmm. on a daily basis. This drives me because I know how lucky I am and I feel that with this support behind me I have so much potential to live life to the fullest and pay that love forward. Absolutely. And I think your support system, when you say support system, you mean like your friends, your support workers, your family, your other friends. Yeah, they all contribute to your support system. Greta, what do you do in your downtime? I basically love series like The Handmaid's Tales and also YouTube bloggers. I also love exploring and going bush bashing in my big electric wheelchair. Awesome. I need to talk to you about all of that. So, The Handmaid's Tale. Whoa. Mm. We, we are big fans, aren't we? And my favourite character is Nick. What about you? I think that's a thumbs up. Your YouTube bloggers that you love. Mm. What's your, that one that you told me about? Squirmy and Grubs and also fathering autism, mainly for ideas for my own blog. Awesome. So mm. I've seen some of Squirmy and Grubs and it's, it's 
quite funny. <gasps> um, I haven't seen the father in law sit down, <sighs> but good on you. But that leads us to your own blog. Mm. So your own your blog is called On Our Own Traps. Mm. Is that right? Mm. How long have you been around for? Nearly eighteen months. Awesome. And you've covered lots of different mm. things. Like I guess my favourite thing that you do on your blogs and I'll have a link to it in the description is that you um you go on adventures and then you give us a rundown of how accessible it is, what you can do while you're there, how to access it and things like that. And I think that's really helpful. Mm. Yeah. So thank you for that. And don't stop. Maybe you could turn it into mm. a, a career and people mm. can pay you. You go to hotels and write about how accessible they are. And they can give you free accommodation. I am thinking about employing others with disabilities for it too. Okay. Well, mm. I'm not for a holiday anywhere you want to <gasps> check out. I'll mm. do all the cruises for you. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> you didn't have to employ me, I'll just go. Mm. For free. <laughs> What are your plans for your future? What's your future looking like now you've finished your degree? What I said before about helping my community, possibly something to do with my blog. I also am hoping to move out into a rest D A supported apartment in Penrith soon. Yes, I have seen that accommodation. And it looks awesome. So very exciting. And you'll be my neighbour. I really want to encourage people to give life a go. Because I think anything's possible. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. So, is there one last thing that you'd like to share with the people watching today? Please stay positive and give life a go while looking at the love around you. Thank you for coming today, Greta. Mm -hmm. Thank you for giving us your time and your awesomeness and yeah a shout out to Greta she's awesome so make sure you check out her blog and she's also on Facebook I'll put them both in the description below thanks for watching today guys don't forget to hit subscribe tap on the bell give us a like if you liked it and we'll see you next week bye for now